yesterday we had a stinker of a day because we had to find one of these voltage sensing relay now you'd think every shop would have them but oh no they're like hen's teeth why do we need one of these here's the story we just found out that the when we're driving the leisure batteries aren't being charged and we're in Sweden and there's not much solar so we're having a few problems uh, not only that this is what happens with the fridge when you turn it to battery you get that I know the engine's not running but trust me it happens when the engine's not running as well so I'll just put that back to gas for now and that's not all look there's the step it's going in and out on the switch it's supposed to go in when you turn the engine on but it doesn't do that either so we've got the batteries aren't charging the step won't go in and the fridge won't go on 12 volts when we're driving so it all points to this this is the electro block what I can deduce is that all wires go to this block thing and it does all the work I've checked all the fuses a dozen times each and there's nothing wrong with all the fuses so if something's gone wrong in here then that is something that needs to be fixed by my Pilot dealer back in the UK so problem solving first things first let's check the alternator to see if the cab battery is being charged whilst we're going along and this is how you do it with the engine running you put the multimeter on your cab battery controls one there and one there and you take a reading and it should read if the alternator is working properly 14.2 which is exactly what it is so we can confirm that there's nothing wrong with the alternator which is a good thing but the bad thing is we don't know where the problem is at the minute so we know that the alternator is working because we've got 14.2 volts to the cab battery and the alternator sends a signal to this electro block to say I'm running therefore the engines running so do the necessary and it's not doing it so I'm figuring there's something wrong with this block that being the case we need an alternative plan to get the batteries charging whilst we're driving I'm not bothered about 12 volts on the fridge and I'm not bothered about the step because we can manually retract it and open it so that's where this relay thing comes in I'm going to bypass the block take the power from the cab battery through the relay so it charges as we're going along this is how you do it so here's the cable to the cab battery which I will attach to that screw there there's your 50 amp fuse so it's all nice and safe so it goes underneath just pokes through there but there'll be carpet there so you don't see that through to the leisure battery which is here so that's all nice and in this is the relay sensor now what happens here if you can read that cut in 13.3 volts so when you turn the engine on there's a voltage comes down the cable and if it's bigger than 13.3 it will cut in and start to charge the leisure battery there and it cuts out at 12.8 uh, and you know it works because this thing here is an LED light and when it gets to 13.3 that should come on so we will test that as soon as I've finished wiring it all up here we are the moment of truth there are two terminals on the back of this thing the red one is the cab battery and that one goes just to the positive on the first battery that you've got
So, the idea now is that we just balance them like that. If you can see that, voltage on the battery is 13.3. I'm expecting that to go up to about 13.7, 13.8. So, here we go. Is it going to work or not? And engine. Engine's on. It just, I've just stood it click. So that works. And now that says 13.7, which means that we are taking power from the cab battery and charging the leisure batteries as we're going along. This is absolutely marvelous. My name is Smiley Miley. I'm out of here. Turn the engine off. Thank you. Let me show you something. Look. There he is. He now has a little pacemaker fitted, which after a couple of days is doing exactly what I want it to do. It cuts in on 13.3 volts and cuts out on 12.8. It's got to stay there because I didn't have enough cable. Um, but no one puts their feet there in this van, so it's no big deal and it'll keep us going, which is bloody marvellous.